Welcome to the Gasol Cast! I'm Chris. I'm Heather. And tonight it's Christmas at the Gasol, isn't it, Heather? It is! We both received a couple of cool boxes. We did. What did you receive, Heather? I got the Walking Dead Supply Drop Box. That's awesome. I received my Anti Venom Box from Box Lunch. Wow. The one that I stood in line for for like a half hour and didn't get it, but then I went online and I ordered it. And I was one of the lucky people that got it. Good job! Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's really great. So which one should we open up first? That one, because we already know what's in there. Let's see what's inside. So here he is, anti-venom glow in the dark. It uh, Ooh. That's awesome, because the other anti-venom for box lunch was also glow in the dark. Wow. Yeah. So this guy's cool. He looks exactly like venom, the regular venom but he's white instead and glows in the dark. So I think that's cool. I like how he comes with a warning label. Yes, isn't that weird that he has a warning label right on f on the front? I thought that was strange. I saw it like all over the, um, like on our groups and stuff on the internet. And I was wondering, is that like a one person thing? And then I noticed it again and again and again and again. And I'm like, holy crap, they must've put the same sticker on all of them. The sticker says contains functional sharp points. Are there sharp points? I guess it's. I guess his little fingers and stuff. His Look. Finger? Oh yeah. yeah. What about his teeth? No, his teeth aren't that no, sharp. No, his teeth are a little sharp. His but, teeth are sharper than his fingers. But you can actually feel him. He actually feels glow in the dark. You know, with that like stubble that they get. Yeah, he does. And the back of his head looks like the white chocolate version of the venom. That's the first <laughs> thing I thought of. It was like white chocolate. To me, it looks more like milk going into a cereal bowl. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Look, it does look like milk going into a cereal bowl. Like very the little true. splash that they yeah. do on the front of the box. Yep, very true, actually. Yeah, it does. or marshmallow. He looks like one of the Ghostbusters at the end of the first Ghostbusters where they're covered in marshmallow from Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. So this is the Funko Pop. So he's awesome. Now this finishes my Venom set that came out Finally. this year. My very favorite set of all of 2018, hands down. It also comes with a t-shirt. Did you get my size? No, I got my size. You can wear it like a blanket or a shawl. So this is the second Venom inspired shirt that I have this year from this set. The first one was from the Venom Marvel Collector box, which was cool. I haven't even worn that one yet. I have a weird thing about shirts that are like navy blue. I don't know why. You should have ordered um, it in my size. I should have, but that was that shirt. So this shirt is actually black, so no, I will I, wear this shirt I was a talking lot. About, I was talking about the Collector Core box. Yeah, oh yeah, I should have. That would be nice. Ooh. Isn't that a cool shirt? Um, when I saw that online, I thought it was really, really neat looking. Um, looks exactly like the pop where the, uh, the symbiote's coming off the face and the big tongue is there. and. Uh, I, I happen to think this is a cool shirt. I think this might be my very favorite shirt uh, from any Marvel um, Funko that I've, re uh, I've received so far. So Heather, let's see what's inside of your Walking Dead supply drop box. This is going to be really exciting. I hope so. I haven't seen any spoilers besides one. Just like one item. Okay. And you tried to re-spoil it upstairs, but I wouldn't let you. But I already knew what you were going to say. Okay. Well, let's see what's in there. All right. So first, ooh. Whoa, right off the bat. Wow, the box is cool looking. Really oh, cool looking. Oh, man. And it's perfect timing, too, because as everybody knows, this is not a spoiler because it's all over everywhere. And if you haven't heard it, you live under a rock. But Rick's last episode was this past Sunday. Yes, it was. It was an awesome episode, by the way. I it can't was. wait for the future of Walking yeah, Dead Yeah, I now. really can't either. If you're not watching it, go and watch it. I, I thought it was going to bum me out, but they left it really awesome. But look at this right off the Right off the box. bat, the box is awesome. It's amazing. Um, it has what looks like hands are coming through, Ooh. like a door. Um, the supply drop logo is all over the place. This is actually looks like the scene from the first episode of this season where they go uh, to Washington, D.C., and they're going inside of one of the big uh, museums. It's a okay. weird, shiny... Well, there's something on the front. Thing. Hold on. On it this side. It says Walking Dead. On this side. Yeah, it says Walking Dead Supply Drop. Yeah. I bet what this is is the contents. Yes. Yep. So it tells you yeah, all the contents, the contents inside. So there's all the contents. But we don't care about that right now. Let's show them exactly what we got. Piece yeah. by well, piece. Well, I need to leave it there just in case. Right. 
because sometimes I don't know what things are. Okay. Ooh, post-apocalyptic survival tool. And here's the multi-tool that they sent us here. So this is a post-apocalyptic multi-tool. It has a bunch of different functions, apparently. It has wrenches, a bottle opener. Yep, um, a knife edge, like a, a screwdriver, a ruler. And it comes in this little, like, uh, leather case that says su supply drop on it. I think that's neat. Ooh, this is a pin. Oh, like that's actually the weapon that Rick carried in the very first episode. Oh, yeah, so the one it's he was like carrying on a horse and hitting, Lucille. yeah, oh, hitting yeah, up the right. creatures in the head and stuff. Ooh, is a Rick Grimes bobblehead. It that's says, cool. No matter what happens, it's human nature to come together. That's now, awesome. one of our friends sent us uh, the Negan one not too long ago. Yeah, the bobblehead. Negan bobblehead. So this is cool. This will go along with our Negan. We can have them side by side. Yeah, they'll be best buds. Rick's been injured. Oh, no. He has a little thing around his neck. It looks like he's wearing a neck brace. Yeah, it does. No, that's, um, Negan also had one when we got it. Look at that. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's yeah. probably to, just to keep his head from bobbling and breaking. Yeah, he's cool. So he will go really well with our Negan that we have. Okay, okay right off the bat, I noticed that Negan is much bigger than <laughs> I think than that Rick. I, I don't remember if Negan's the same brand. Uh, no, they are definitely the same brand. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Look. Ne oh, Negan's yep. just big. Royal Bobbles. Um, but for some reason, Negan is just bigger than the Rick. And maybe they made the Rick smaller because they were putting him in a supply drop box. All right, so here's the next item. It says Hilltop Homegrown Collectible Stein. Oh, a Stein. That's cool. Oh, man. I'm going to be drinking out of this every day. Whoa, let's see. Wait, so what's the logo on the front? Oh, Hilltop. it says Hilltop. Yep, Hilltop oh, that's cool. Homegrown. Oh, that's awesome. Or is that what it says? Homegrown? Yep, yeah, homegrown. Hilltop Homegrown. So that's a cool cup. So the one thing you'll probably notice is that in this box, it did not have any Funko-related merchandise. Right. In the last box, it did come with Shiba, mm -hmm. which was a big deal. That's why you, I think you order it the first time around. I would be interested to see if they do come up with another... Uh, Funko in here in the supply drop and I would hope that it's as like cool as Shiva would be rather than just like Just a normal character. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, like Shiva was awesome But like you could do you know something cool like that where like a variant just... or something I think yeah. it would be cool to release a walker honestly yeah. the last item is a t-shirt I'm going to be wearing oh, this. Oh, cool. That's an awesome shirt. So it's the it's practically like the logo of the newest season. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I like that. I'm super stoked on that. Yeah, that's awesome. That's beautiful. Cool. So what do you think of this box? It's awesome, but you want to know something awesomer? Awesomer? Mm-hmm. Is that a word, Heather? Are you making up words here? I might be. Got it. Whoa. What's that at the bottom? So hold on, let's show them what it is. It's so you literally dig it up. There's dirt at the bottom, and then underneath the dirt, you get this booklet. It's the episode episode nine hundred one script. What? Oh, that's cool. Wow, look, and a certificate of authenticity, official The Walking Dead script replica. That's neat. So that's that's a different item. Isn't that I, I awesome? Think, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. Before. Hold on. That's cool. Where's Rick? Oh, Rick is right here. Put him on there. Oh, that's neat. Look at that. So it looks like he's in a diorama. That's How cool. How cool is that? That's awesome. What's this? A limited edition chase. Oh, he has a... Oh, okay. So there... Okay, well, that's interesting. So there is a chase variation of Rick in this. So at a number one... I guess there's a hundred variations of a Rick with a green shirt on. So we did not get the green shirt Rick. So that's rare. And then this one is rare Cold Steel Edition. Find the rare individual number to only 500, the, the pin. Wow, so yeah, we, do, we have the regular pin. Okay, so what was different about the other pin? Uh, it's black. Yeah, so there's the, what the pin, the I guess the rare one, and then here's the rare Rick Grimes. That's interesting that they That's did cool. that. That is cool. Can I see the pin? Yeah. I just want to see the difference. What, what, now, what's the difference? Oh, I see. The okay. So instead of black, color. this one is red. So I guess we didn't get the Chase variant box. Which but I'm that's okay. okay. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So that's a cool box. We got a cool cup or a cool Stein. You got a cool shirt to wear. We got a cool Rick to put along with our um, gargantuan monster uh, giant Negan. Uh, and, um, and we got a little survival tool that just fell out of the box. 
in a plastic or in a leather case. So that's cool. Guys, what did you think of this supply drop? Did you order a supply drop yourself? Did you get the last supply drop with Shiva? Are you a Walking Dead fan? Let us know in the comments below. If you're not a Walking Dead fan, you should be because it's great. It is great. All right, guys, remember to go over to our Instagram and check out all the cool content over there at Gasolcast. Also, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe right here to our YouTube channel. Every like puts a real big smile on Heather's face, doesn't it? We love that. Share us with all your friends and leave us a fun comment below. Guys, as always, remember, we hunt together. We will catch you next time. Bye. We hope that you enjoyed this episode of the Gasocast. If so, please hit that subscribe button and check out some of our other fun content. We've left you some links to some of our other videos that we thought you might like. We'll catch you next time. Bye.